How's it going, you all? And welcome back to v -Bros. It has been an exciting couple months for Batman lovers as there are many projects announced. And as much as we love Batman and curious about the new projects, we are also quite worried about how their qualities will be. We don't know if it's a great idea to have a bunch of different Batman universes at the same time when the company struggles to have a single quality adaptation of the character. In this video, we will talk about all the new Batman projects that are announced and also take a look at all the Batman universes that are currently running. Before we get into the video, I would like to mention that I will be alone until the end of the video as my brother is busy elsewhere. The Batman that will be portrayed by Robert Pattinson took the place of the Ben Affleck Batman movie when Affleck had a difference of opinion with Warner Bros and essentially dropped out of the movie. Original plan for this movie was the future Affleck against Deathstroke that we saw in the end credits of the Justice League and it was going to be a part of the DCEU. When Affleck dropped out of the movie, Warner Bros decided to give Robert Pattinson a chance to feature in what we can call an origin story of Batman movie. This project seems to be promising, however, a new Batman universe that is currently not tied to anything else is a little surprising. Probably the Joker's success inspired the idea behind this movie and hopefully it will be quality. There's a chance for this movie to be tied into the Joker universe, but this is merely a theory. The Batman will hit the theaters in March 4th, 2022. The main villains will be the Riddler and Catwoman. We know that the Penguin will be in the movie as well, but probably not as a villain. We should mention the Riddler will have a different adaptation compared to the previous ones we have seen. The name of the character will be Edward Neshton, the original name of the Riddler. The character's look also resembles the character called Hush. We assume they want to step away from the Riddler that resembles Jim Carrey so much. Batman The Long Halloween is one of the most famous Batman comics of all time. This movie will be a two-parter, the first one releasing in June 2021 and the second one releasing a month after in July 2021. Batman will be voiced by Jensen Ackles, who has never watched the character before. The famous villains like Catwoman, Two-Face, the Joker and Solomon Grundy will appear. This animated movie will not be a continuation of any animated Batman universe. As a channel, we are most excited for this two-part movie. We will get to see a unique story of Batman and there seems to be a lot of effort put in. We aren't familiar with the story of the long Halloween and all that we know is that there is a killer who only appears during Halloweens. Batman will use his detective abilities to solve this crime and we believe it will be a very satisfying one. Batman Cape Crusader caused us to make this video. A new Batman animated series with a version of Batman we have never seen before. DC is adding yet another Batman into the list opening a new Batman universe. Batman Cape Crusader has no release date, but based on IMDb it's going to release in 2022. We don't have any information about the series other than it's going to be produced by Bruce Timm, who has been behind the creation of the DCAU, J.J. Abrams and the Batman's director, Matt Reeves. There are some big names behind the project, but it doesn't make us feel better about the project. Bruce Timm created the greatest adaptation of Batman, Superman and the Justice League in the DCAU in the 90s and early 2000s. However, in all the DCA projects we have seen after the Justice League Unlimited has been okay at best. He seems to have lost his enthusiasm about the characters and ran out of stories. Of course, this new Batman is a blank page, but his previous work worries us. J.J. Abrams is also a person whose previous work worries us. He is one of the people who destroyed the legacy of Star Wars with the sequel trilogy. A lot of people see him as a person who was the most innocent and Ryan Johnson and of course Kathleen Kennedy were the ones to blame. We agree that they are the ones to blame, but J.J. isn't innocent in this. He directed two movies of the sequel trilogy and they both sucked. Finally, there is Matt Reeves. Until we see his work in the Batman, we will have no opinions about him. Caped Crusader offers a tremendous amount of potential beyond the series to create a successful universe like the DCAU, which has been the only successful DC universe ever. These three Batman will be added to the already long list of Batmans that are currently active. We currently have six other versions of Batman that we can name and more projects related to the character Batman.
The main one is Ben Affleck as a part of the DCEU. DCEU isn't going the direction the fans want as Warner Bros. still doesn't admit defeat and continue with the Snyderverse. However, Ben Affleck will feature in what was called the Flashpoint movie, The Flash, that will hit the theaters in 2022. If you would like to learn more about the Flashpoint concept, there are many comics and a Flashpoint animated movie you can watch. A simple way of explaining is the Flash time traveling with his speed force and go to alternate timelines. In this movie, the DCU Batman, Ben Affleck, and Michael Keaton will feature. We don't know if Michael Keaton will play Tim Burton's 1989 Batman or a different version, but this one is not the point. The Flash movie will feature two Batmans. Another live-action Batman we have is probably the least popular one from the TV series Titans. Titans is currently not tied up with any universe and it is unlikely that it will ever be tied up with anything. The series featured an old version of Batman who seems to have retired or will retire from the job of Batman very soon. He is played by Ian Glenn. Titans Season 3 will start this August. We have four more Batmans on this list and three of them are voiced by Kevin Conroy and the other one by several different actors. Kevin Conroy voices the DCAU Batman which doesn't have any upcoming movies as of yet but the universe still continues. Injustice Gods Among Us, which will have a new animated movie after two video games. And finally, Gotham Knights, the continuation of the Arkham video games. The last adaptation of Batman, who still continues, is the new 52 animated universe. We should finally mention three other projects that will not feature Batman but will be connected to him. First one is the new TV series GCPD, which will resemble the TV series Gotham. It will feature Jim Gordon and his adventures as a cop. The series is a part of Robin Pattinson's Batman, which means Pattinson's universe will enlarge in the future. Warner Bros. is also working on a standalone Batgirl movie that we have no clue about and there is still a Nightwing project pending since 2017 that is yet to be cancelled. Both of these movies aren't a part of any known universe as of yet and isn't involving Batman as of yet. By this time next year, we will have 10 different versions of Batman at the same time. We don't know how DC will pull off this many stories at the same time. They are unable to create a successful Batman since the Dark Knight trilogy and now they are attempting to have 10 at the same time. We know they are putting on different platforms but this is still a bold move. We should also mention DC used to have a policy called the Bat Embargo in the 90s forbidding to have a Batman to feature on multiple platforms to prevent confusion and now they seem to work with a completely opposite policy. DC is a company that continually disappoints all their fans and their successful works are far less than their failures. We still love their characters and want to watch their movies because of the amazing stories they have developed in the past. However, we should suggest every DC fan to lower their standards for the upcoming Batman and all DC projects to enjoy them more. This is all from us this week. Be sure to leave which project you're expecting to see the most down in the comment section. We'll be back with more content about these projects as we learn more. Until then, be bros out.